Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you uh, for inviting me. Uh, I can share with you the results of our research regarding the combination of two worlds, the energy and finance, the banking system. Thank you for an opportunity in this team that you can see on the slide uh, to be able to work on this area. Uh, Ms. Joanna Vrubel is with me today. Um, our friend Radomir is not uh, with us uh, because of uh, um, some business uh, issues. I would like to take you for a journey to the energy world, the world that we know or we used to know this will be a step-by-step -step journey. First, information, why are we combining these two issues, these two worlds, and then we are going to uh, reach this darker part. And then I will give you uh, some beacon of hope for the future. Why it is worth combining uh, energy sector, energy elements, with the elements closer to us related to food production. This is an answer here in this slide. 30% of the total energy consumption reaches us as food products. 44% out of that, this is um, the processing sector, 37 agriculture, 19 supply for agriculture. That's why it is worth dealing with it. What we are facing right now, this uh, situation is clearly visible. We are participating in it. We worry about it. This is this uncertainty related to energy prices, uh, shortage in fuel, in gas, anything that can happen. I would like to point out that these topics are crucial, but from th these topics, we can have something beneficial. First, the darker side of uh, our life. When we look at our invoices for energy, what do we see that? On the first, uh, on, these, the, on the next slides, we will see what is there. Uh, 870, the, around 876, this is the price, cumulated price with the distribution. This is what we pay by unit for megawatt hour uh, of energy consumed. This is the cost that is divided uh, into logistics, into the amount and volume and the delivery. And when you look at it, uh, these, look at these components, uh, it was 50-50 in the past. Now uh, the commodity, the energy is dominant, 508 for household. The other part, this is distribution. So right now, we are covered by this shield, one of the million of shields provided for us. This guarantees lower rate in terms of tax until the end of this year. We will go back to 23% next year. So this will be the VAT. We are more interested in this 508. It can be divided into two components. As for the tariffs that refer to us and our consumption, 446, this is variable charge combining this, com this price as a commodity, energy as a commodity. And here we also have the certification of energy, the, so this para tax or semi tax, so to say. We have also some taxes in distribution costs. These are also the fees that should support the transformation of this sector. I will refer to it later on. And now the question whether this 360 or around 396, around 400, this is the cost, whether this is the market level or not. Uh, we all say that we are paying too much and we want to pay less. And if you want to become a seller, it is a totally different story. This is the profile of energy consumption in a household. This is my household. Uh, this is perhaps, I, I hope this is typical. So this energy must be provided for their customers. Uh, he's taking two steps. First, 
the futures market. So these uh, fixed elements, predictable elements, and uh, you buy it today for next month, you buy it today for next year. The other elements that you can see in these red peaks, uh, whether I uh, switch on my cattle at uh, in the afternoon or at night, I don't know that. So uh, this must be added on an ongoing basis. Uh, so this slide was updated on the 29th of November. Then the price of the typical uh, products on the futures market, it was 136. Uh, now it's 140, uh, 1,040. So this is one variability element we are talking about today. We are going to talk about flexibility and courage later. These uh, other elements, as for the standard market, spot market, here also we have some risks related to our uncertainty. These are the elements. Uh, well, it's around 1,000 per megawatt hour. Uh, so if we look at a spot market and current market, so 1,200, this is one megawatt hour of the energy that our seller is providing us next year. So what's the difference? You can see from what is there on our invoices and what we are going to have or we will have next year if we don't have the shield anymore. Uh, we will see what happens next year. Of course, we as consumers, uh, it's not, it's nice. As for the companies providing, it's not so nice. We can ask a question whether these high prices refer only to households. Here you have an answer. In companies, it's even worse. The most typical tariff groups, C12, C21, we have uh, million, 1 million 800 uh, thousand of these uh, in terms of customers. Uh, 2,500 and 2,356, so this is the cost of electrical power. This is a lot or not? You can answer that yourselves. What happens? What's the reason behind these high prices? We have a couple of elements affecting it. Our system is based on coal. It was 78% uh, from coal, uh, so the prices of energy um, is affected by the source of energy. Here you can see the price of uh, coal in ARA ports, Antwerp, Amsterdam and Rotterdam. You can see it is going down. There are some fluctuations, but this is a downturn. Uh, that we observe on the market, but on the right, we have coal in Poland. Last year, it was 15 per gigajoule. This is the, the price used by analysts. Now it's 30 zloty per gigajoule, and it will be 60 in a moment because we are importing coal. This is the driver saying that the price of coal is going to increase. CO2 emission, um, spot contracts, you could use, you saw these electric bulbs, uh, posters around, um, so around 80 euro uh, for, for these. Nothing is lost in nature. This money goes into the state budget um, within um, the couple of last uh, couple of years from 2013, 70 billion came to our state because of the sale of these certificate emissions. This money was used. Uh, was this money used for building any facilities? This is just hypothesis. Nothing was established on sea. Uh, everything is done by private investors, uh, land farms, wind farms. Uh, that would have been constructed uh, had it not been for the legislation that we are having. Everything that is built is done by private sector from other resources. This 70 billion was shifted to some other purposes. And the last element we are mentioning right now, poor condition of the uh, energy uh, sector in uh, power plants in the dominant coal-based uh, sources. So how can we build sustainable energy on such ad outdated resources? Here you can see the average consumption of um, 
average need for, for uh, energy. This is also on a downturn. The sources of gas, this is the flexible element, uh, referring to what was said uh, previously during the discussion panel. So it is problematic for us. Transformation is absolutely necessary, and accelerating the transformation is absolutely necessary. Now I would like to move on to Ms. Alicia and her opinion. The history repeats itself. It's going to be more expensive than less expensive. I am collecting books. This is the uh, statistical books from 1925. You can see the price of energy in uh, 1925. It was 500 zloty. What I showed you, 506. This is the same level after 100 years. So if somebody is asking a question, probably 500 zloty in another 100 years. Uh, so uh, probably my grandchildren could verify what I'm saying today. This is, of course, uh, a joke, but this long-term perspective and prediction for the future is very difficult. At the end of last year, I had an opportunity to develop uh, some paths for one of the companies. Uh, we had one aim whether in 25 we are going to have zero emission system. How do we achieve that and what would be the product as for the price? And here are uh, the scenarios uh, that we can, uh, that we predicted. So this is a downturn in terms of prices. This is only half true because also in these elements we need to add components related to the cost of transformation. So uh, redevelopment of all the facilities, this is just the cost of energy as a commodity. And we need also to refer to education. We talked about three levels of education. This is this lower graph. I was taught that we use uh, energy when this is less expensive, so we do that in the evening. And uh, that would be like 12 and 1 p.m. So this, uh, this is the moment when we do it, when we wash and iron our things. So is this the peak of these changes or not yet? Are there any other elements ahead of us? The system uh, comprises these elements that you have on the slide. Uh, they are not supporting all the stakeholders or the interesting parties. It is not showing us these financial solutions. During the analysis and these paths that we were trying to predict, we tried to estimate the expenditure for investments. Up to 2030, we need 187 billion zloty to modernize the production. This is uh, around 900 billion by 2050. The distribution infrastructure is key here. And two scenarios that are included in the energy policy up to 2030. This is 128 billion. This is indispensable, absolutely, in this financial perspective. This must be provided. We will have some resources from the European Union. These are the programs. Uh, how? after um, providing uh, this uh, recovery plan resources. Uh, this will not be sufficient, but also loans and supporting those who are going to uh, get involved in the transformation. Uh, what can we observe? Not building this central energy from this virtual 60 billion that is not yet there, but we can see uh, the bottom-up uh, resources. Here, up to 2030, we were supposed to have one million prosumers. This is one, one million two hundred thousand. So this was done. We also have objectives related to uh, energy independence in particular areas. This is here one element that can act as a remedy for higher prices. As for the changes that are ahead of us, so some uh, energy cooperatives. These are local initiatives. They have some limitations. Of course, we are talking about rural areas. Um, we are talking about participants providing uh, some minimum structure to use this energy later on. We need to have connections to particular grid uh, and uh, some 
uh, uh, criteria to be fulfilled, but we can have the scenario like that in a community. They become a prosumers. They can use the benefits defined in the regulation. Here on the left, you have uh, some uh, repeatable information uh, from the previous slides. And in the cooperative, as for the cost, this is marked in green. This is what we avoid in a cooperative. This is from 15 to 35 percent because of the fact that they joined a cooperative. So this is a tendency that is going to implement it. Yes, definitely. I take part in these processes. We are establishing cooperatives at the moment. Some broader idea is energy cluster. We are still waiting, unfortunately, for redefinition of the cluster, for some legislation changes. We are still waiting for that. And we will have a certain catalog of benefits uh, for us uh, entrepreneurs, uh, participants on the market. It will be profitable to join such cluster. What this catalog of benefits look, li look like? Here we have an investor. This is a situation from November last year, winning an auction to build uh, a certain energy production plant. The price that is guaranteed 278, and this was the level of, of prices from last year. Now, this is uh, 104, 1,400, around 1,400. In uh, services and in production, this is 200, uh, 2,200. Uh, so you can see a spread and this pie to divide between particular stakeholders. This will be uh, affected by uh, private partnership, pub private and public partnership, and they will focus on these benefits. This is the shift in paradigm. Uh, here, our distributors, uh, if they are not needed in this combination, uh, they will have to change. Here we also have another solution, a certain platforms uh, to pair both sides and provide peer-to-peer -peer energy uh, distribution sale. This is the process that uh, uh, is a long-term process. This is the transformation that is ongoing right now, and this is the future direction. Why Re refraining from coal and this transformation is rational? If we observe what is happening in technology, in manufacturing sector, we can see the cost of energy from the moment of production until a particular source expires for PV plants and wind power plants. So the needs for investment is going to be uh, much significant, more significant. So uh, can we focus on our dreams and make our dreams come true? I would like to show you a slide, the final one, presenting the benefits from energy cooperatives and that uh, dreams can uh, come true. This is real data, analytical example. So here we have 11 recipients, four, these are food processing plants, then uh, the other are farmers. And these 11 entities, um, they have some costs as for the electrical energy. This is the cost around 22 million for the consumed, 2,300 zloty. So if I become a prosumer, so if I build the source of energy, I will be independent uh, energy-wise. So from the fact that you are becoming a prosumer, you have around 78% of benefit because that cost goes down to around 500. So if we develop an energy uh, cooperative, we have yet another 17% of the benefit. And then the cost around 400. Who is not going to go for such a solution? Everyone looking at the numbers and looking at the numbers that are going to stay with us uh, in the price list, they are going to move into building such solutions, uh, uh, going 
back to the opinion, to the courage you mentioned before. Let's not wait. Let's do it now. Because uh, we have just uh, one year, we have just, uh, through these shields, we have just one year to take bold decisions and enter the era of transformation without any significant risks. Thank you very much.